Hello people to the internet, I'm Mystery Gamer, aka Pine Tree. Welcome back to the greatest game of all time, Super Mario 64. Uh, last episode, we started off the game. We went to that door right there. We climbed the mountain and beat a boss. This episode, we're gonna go to this door with the one in it. We could go back to like uh, the first stage, but going to a new area is a lot bit. I think it's a lot bit of fresh air, so. A better place to do it than, well, Womp's Fortress. Let's go. And also, interruptions. Hello, the Keto Brothers, cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a new technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is to walk very slowly. Who would have known? Alright, we can do it literally right here in front of us. So there's like a prompt plan, and all you do is just walk slowly. Get close to the mic. Get close to the mic, because it's real loud. Pile of leaves, flowers. Can I say some more? And just whack him, and he's dead. Hey, we get a blue coin on, on on the upside, so I'm not complaining. All right, our objective for today: climb a mountain, beat a boss. Basically, the first level. So yeah, just trust me. Like the rest of the game won't be like this. It's just like the very few, very few level, very first few levels. So, yeah. Uh, we can actually long jump just over here. And welcome to Meet the Womps. They're cool, I guess. They kind of just try and squash you, and you use ground pound to defeat them. They're kind of easy. And I think there's only like two. Yeah. So, two guys made this entire place. Well, technically three, and you'll see why in a minute. Because the third one's the boss. It's just a bigger version. Uh -huh. Luke, we're so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and you still walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No, we're well, not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush it just for fun. You have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha! Alright. We're saying boss. Easier than the first boss. Go underneath him, ground pound him. That's it. Do it three times, and he's basically a goner. I think Bob King Bob Bomb's a lot harder because he actually throws you off. Or is a hard time. It's like grabbing him is a bit harder. This one you just kinda just jump over. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. There's our star. First star to second level. There you go. I'm not gonna save in case this video corrupts as usual. Third second star on top of the wall on top of the fortress. Alright, so new objective. <laughs> Climb this thing, get a star. There, there seems to be a trend. It's called climbing. So yeah, it's very easy. Whoop. Pretty much easy stars for the first part. And they're pretty fast to be honest. Just climb a thing and then get a star. Dang. But you know, later on, like getting stars will be a lot more I guess harder and just longer, in my opinion. So bear, bear with this. If you want more complex gameplay then later on in the game you'll you'll see it. As right now, child friendly. If you can't tell by the music. So we're just gonna climb up here. Get ready to meet to get ready to meet the only enemy that appears in this, like in like these two stages or these two like courses. The boy Bill. Get okay, go look at him. He's gone. Oh, there he is. Like him? He only appears in this stage and the next stage. I'm pretty sure. He never appears in any other stage ever again. I don't know why, but it just that's just how he's programmed, I guess. Anyways, if you haven't noticed, this gigantic fortress appears after Womp's disappearance, and it gets us a star if we climb it. Almost pressed save there, which would have been bad. Let's go back inside. Alright, shiny to the wild blue! 
This one's a really fast star. So basically, we haven't gone through that pipe, but we haven't gone through that path, but we'll be there in a while. So this so this star requires to meet our good old buddy. The guy who helped us in war, I guess. I, I don't know what he did exactly, but he says they helped us in war and hey, he gives us he gives us a cannon, so I'm not I'm not gonna complain. So let's go into this cannon. Basically, the star's over there. So we gotta shoot over there, but this cannon obeys the laws of physics. So if you shoot, you're gonna go a little bit lower than you expect. So you gotta shoot like up here and make sure you're not overshoot. So you shoot up here, you hit your head on that, you get a concussion, but on the bright side, you get a power star down here. So yeah, pretty easy. We got two coins. All right, red coins on a flowing aisle. Once again, the red coins strike again. This time we use this path that you haven't seen like at all the entire stage. We got enemies with SpongeBob eyes, I guess, to kind of just push out. <laughs> Not much to it. Uh, kind of a little obstacle course here. It's not that hard, but I can see why people fall off. Uh, thwomps! They're blue, not their rugged, um, gray selves. There's a red coin up here, so grab it. Uh, there's a red coin behind this prom plant. You just kill them and then you get it. One right here, so like, there's like, well, like all, there's a lot of them just bunched up in this first area. There's one at the very corner, if I can get it. And there's also one up if you can get it. One ups in this game, you like don't even try and get them. Like they just have weird run cycles. All right, uh, keep missing that. All right, well time to meet our good old friend that only appears in like what last stage in this first stage, Boat Bill. All right, so the rest of the red coins are whoa, the rest of the red coins are over here. So tip over this. Uh, piece of wood and camera camera is going to be a little bit hard here so I'm just going to walk slowly hopefully not fall embarrass myself in front of like the two people that I have and then we get the red coin and red coin up here there's a star in this cage remember that will be helpful next time and then the last star or last coin I think it's just down here. So, as in, I think it's just on the slope. Yep. Okay, and get that time. But I can just long jump and then jump for it. And that's it. Time to go get a reward and not jump off. That's a lot of coins, 37. All right, let's go back to Bond Fortress one more time to play everyone's favorite stage, Fall into the Cage Island. So remember that star I told you, like, last mission? Yeah, this is the star we're gonna get. So we gotta get up there somehow. And as you can tell, it's more deadlier than Bob on Valfi because it's, uh, there's no ground for most of it. So if you fall, you're dead. So how are we going to do that? Climb this tree. There's an owl. He's just right here chilling. Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press and hold, press and hold A to grab onto him. Release A to let go. Problem with this is, the bird does not like people. As in, like, his movement is really bad. As well as his, like, the when he, like, when he drops you. I'll build a build there. So I guess in three stages. But um when the owl drops you, it's really hard to notice. So Yeah. As you can see I'm trying to turn the entire way. It's not working. Oh jeez. So turning's really hard in this thing. 
I honestly have no clue how many tries I'm gonna get. Oh, I didn't even fail it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So let's try again. So if you tr uh, so you fail, and if you don't die by falling off, the owl will uh, just go down here, and you can just wait for him again and try again. He'll come eventually. Somewhere in this world. Where trees are disappearing and reappearing. I think. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> no worries. So just get up on him, and he'll fly up to you. And you can just fly with him. Alright, this time let's try it to be a little bit harder. Or just try to angle it a little bit better. His camera's not the greatest. So that should be... Nope. <laughs> I was close though. Alright, third time's a charm, I guess. I better get some coin in case I die next next fall. Alright. There's our good old old wise owl. Eating my Tootsie Pops. I don't, I don't remember if anyone remembers those. Actually, do we still air do we still air that? I know they don't air the turtle anymore. <laughs> There's a turtle in there, but they don't air it anymore. So uh, there we go. Oh, Ryan, smack on the star. Cool. All right. And guess what? You've reached eight of the power stars. Now you can open the door with a big star. But Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? So we got eight stars. We could go back into Wamp's Fortress, I think. Or I think that's all stars you can get. But we're going to go to a different area. And no, we're not going to fight Bowser this episode. Because we still got like two more doors left. So let's try those doors. This one I think would be course three. Because there's a three on it. <laughs> yeah. Right to the star power, the door opens. Yep. Up to the third stage. Jolly Roger Bay. Or Dire Dire Docks. That was a magic Nope, Jolly Roger Bay. Guess what? It's a water level. We all love water levels. The water. The slow paced. The fear of drowning. Great. But in this game, drowning, you're like breathing levels like your health so and there's like coins scattered around the ground so you're not gonna drown just by that I mean if you get hit then you're gonna dr drown faster but thing is what I'm trying to tell you is don't get hit we're gonna have to because see that eel in that chunk of boat we gotta go inside there so we gotta just like get this eel out of here and there's not really a good way of getting zeal out I kind of just hit my method of, hit, of getting it out was kind of just hitting it, grabbing coins, and going back up into the surface. Because when you go up the surface and go down, the eels magically out for some reason. <laughs> At least every time I've played. So let's see if that comes true. Yep, the eels out. <laughs> it's weird, and I don't know. Like they're they're. Like, he does have, like, a... You can't see him, like, get out of it. But, like, I went down, like, once or twice. And this was, like... The method I just did was, like, a... Sort of, like, a guarantee. Way of, kick, of kicking him out. Alright. So, in this... We gotta try our chests. Four, exactly. You gotta open them in the correct order. In order to, like... I don't know, get the star. Yeah. There's first one here. Here's rest. I think... This one's the second one? Yep. Each one is going to give you a bubble which recovers health. And yeah. This one should be a third one. And the last one is the middle one. If you get them incorrect, it'll shock you and then it'll reset the entire puzzle. In which you're going to have to do all of them again. Anyways, got the last one. So we're going to have to hurry up here. Because the water's sinking. We gotta get up. We gotta get to the star. So, best place you can be is right here. You can try to get the first one. But you got to do a lot of platforming and then press this, the star's right here. There you go. Here we go. All 
Yeah, we got nine stars. And now let's go for the easy ten before we end this off. Uh, can you come out and play? Ah, great way to end this off. All right, so can you come and play? This is not you. As you all know, that you scary. This is where Zumara got scary behaviors. Well, there's another enemy. That got that got reputation, but we're not there yet. So, feels the most we have. Also, you can see the boat has flown up. It's, I guess, risen because we drained out all the water. We're started there, and we can't get it. Uh, but here's the eel. So for this one, we have to go in front of it, kind of. And it'll do that, that terrifying thing that, thank God, the camera didn't catch. He's going to swim out, and then it's a race. Because the star's right there. It's on his tail, so you got to go and try and get it without dying. I almost forgot to tell you that. So, yeah. Uh, I might actually die here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to die. So if you die, uh, or if you're drowning, oh wow, didn't die. Uh, but if you're like low on health, you can just go back up and it'll cover everything. It's not too shabby. Uh, am I gonna get the eel first try? No, I'm not. It takes a while, but it takes a while, so it's not a very easy, like, start to get. But yeah, eel, come out and play. Oh god, <laughs> he's terrifying. He's terrible. Alright. Oh. He's already he's already on the move. Oh there it is. <laughs> wow. That was way easier than one would expect. Alright, there we go. Alright, and uh, I guess that would be it for that's it for today uh, for episode two we uh, went through like three stages we got ten stars so we got like seven in total I think and yeah all I can say is uh, our toes over there we're not gonna talk to him as usual <laughs> and all I can say is uh, thanks everyone for watching the second episode of let's play Super Mario 64 uh, yeah I'm Mysterious Gamer aka Pine Tree and I'll see you next time see ya